Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne. In today's weekly Sunday Thrift Rehaul video, I want to share with you some things that I may or may not have shown you in previous videos. These are things that I plan on putting into my antique space once the antique mall near my home reopens. So let me go ahead and show you what I have. A lot of folks have been asking about Violet, so I thought I would pop her on here for just a quick second so she can say hello to everyone and say thank you for all of the well wishes that you have sent her way. Um, she's trembling. She's a little bit chilly. She just got out of the shower. Um, I've mentioned before that because of her breed, which is a Sholo Eats Queensley, she requires a lot of maintenance on her skin. So we just gave her a nice little loofah bath and some Johnson's Baby lotion so she is smelling and looking really good right now so say hello hello oh she's trembling i'm gonna put her down so she can go curl up in her bed i'll be back in just a sec come on oh there you go okay go curl up come on <laughs> okay so wanted to show you some of the things that i'm going to be putting into that antique space once the mall reopens by my home I want to start with this very large green vase. This is by, is that E.D.? E.U. Brody. Might be E.O. Brody. There we go. And looks like I paid $3 for this. Can't remember where I got it, but I've had this for quite some time. Never listed it, so we'll see how it does in the antique space. And I keep calling it an antique space, but they actually do allow you to sell items that are not antiques in the space as well. So that's a plus for me because I don't often, or I don't always find true antiques, but older things, even things that are relatively new, they let you um, sell in that space. So that's a plus. Uh, the next things, I have a lot of plates to show you today. Uh, this, these are Corel. It is just a set of three of them, Corel by Corning. I have no idea how much I can get for these per plate. Uh, I paid 75 cents for them, and they are the Woodland Brown pattern, and they were made between 1978 and 1985. Now, the good thing is that in the last video I shared with you, I had cups and saucers that were in this Woodland Brown pattern as well. So I think that'll be a plus once I can get things into the antique space. And here we have some more Corel. These whoop, are stuck together. Here we go. I thought they were stuck together. Paid 75 cents for these. Now, I looked these up. I don't know where my sticky went. I looked up this pattern and I don't know what happened to my sticky that I wrote on it so I could tell you what the pattern was. My apologies for that. But I have three of those. And then these, uh, let me unwrap them here. I should have done this ahead of time. I paid, let's see, $2.25 for these plates that I'm gonna show you right now. The pattern is called ah, Posy. They need to be cleaned up. And they are Johnson Brothers Ironstone. There's the maker mark on the back of it. It's just real pretty. I think they're a really pretty kind of spring into summer plate. And I love the shape too. This is octagonal. So I have one, two, three, four of these. And what did I say I paid for those? $2.25 for all four of them. Again, I'm not sure the plates are going to go for a whole lot, but since I have them and I'm going to need to stock the booth, I'm going to stock it with what I have. And these are from Syracuse, China. I have two of these. I do not know what the pattern name is on these. That's a really pretty plate, though. So two of those. And I believe Syracuse, China is a restaurant. Um, wear kind of uh, tableware so it's very heavy duty and heavy as well now this I'm super kind of excited about these I have four place settings and this is the pattern 
It is called Dew Drops and it's by Temperware by Lennox. See the back there? And I paid $8 for the set of four. So I have four, actually I have five of the dinner plates and then four of the matching cup and saucers. And this again, I think is a really pretty pattern for spring going into summer, especially for folks that like blue. We have those. And then this little piece, I've had this sitting around for quite some time. It's this little, I guess it's, it's a needle point. You can see some of the areas where it's an older piece where they have, oops, sorry about that, done the needle work on different areas on it. Really, really pretty. I don't know what this is going to bring. And it says, uh, Gaudi's Fashion, Fashions, 1870. Now, I know that's not the date. That's just the name of the print, I believe. But it's older, and you can tell from the back there. A little piece of paper just fell off of it. So we have that. And these I showed you not too long ago uh, from some things that I had found down when I was closing up the house in Florida. It's just this pair of scissors. And I believe, even though they're marked, what is it, 50? 50 cents. I think these were in the crafting aisle and they were only 25 cents when I got them that day. These are Stork Craft Scissors. I believe these are made in, oh, these are made in Italy. I thought they were made in Japan, but these are made in Italy. Then I have this set of four mugs. There's no mark on them or anything. I think I got them because of the ducks on them and I thought that somebody you know, into more of a natural wildlife kind of decor might like these. There are no markings on them. I have no idea who the maker is. And I don't think, no, I don't have the marking on how much I paid for them either. Um, they kind of speckled on the inside too, which I think, if you, yeah, there you go. You can see it is kind of cool. So I have those four mugs. Then I have this little piece, souvenir piece. It is from Peaks Island, Maine. And it's this little milk glass container. It has sort of a green tint to it. I'm not sure if it's coming across or if you can make it out, but it does have a green tint to it and no mark on the bottom of it. Um, just a few more things to show you. I don't think anyone carries these anymore, but I think it's kind of cool. It is an old uh, cigarette and lighter carrier. So your cigarette pack would go in there, and then when you well, pull the, this open, there's a mechanism in here that would slide the cigarettes up so you would pull it out. It is made by Wilson Leather. The marking is on the back. They're a little hard to make out, I think. I'm going to put some uh, leather conditioner on here and spruce it up a little bit. I have no idea where I got it or how much I paid for it. I've had this for a long, long time. Um, oh, next is a freebie. Uh, my girlfriend Kate gave me this. She gave me several things uh, that she was just going to donate once the thrift stores open up again. So she gave this to me. It's a Gemco. There is on the bottom there. Hope I don't even know if you can make it out. There you go, I think. And it's just a little chopper. So anything I make on that is going to be a profit. And then these I showed you not too long ago, I think. I have three of these blue with the white speckle enamelware mugs. I have three of them and three matching bowls. So they'll be going into the space as well. And then the last things that I have to show you are the ones that I think I'm most excited about. Actually, no, I have these and I have, then I have some linen, some fabrics to show you. I almost forgot about those. These need some real cleaning up. They are super cool. It's a canister set. So they are all, they are the same. They look exactly the same. They're just, the, you know, bigger, smaller. So this would be from with a flower. It has a glass little um, hole there in the lid. And it even has its scoop. But they are, you can see, super dirty. They need to be cleaned up really, really well. And let's see, I paid... $3 for the larger one. So I think that would probably be for your, I don't know, your coffee or your flour. 
And then we have this middle sized one here. This, nope, that does not have a scoop in it. This one was, where's the price on that? There we go. That one was $2. Pretty sure these came from Goodwill because of the writing with that black marker. And then the last one is the little baby one, which would be, I'm assuming, for tea. And let's see, paid a dollar ninety-nine for that. You can see there's a lot of thank goodness. That's embarrassing kitty hair on it. But they'll be cleaned up before they go into the booth. And then the last few pieces I have to show you, as I said, were linens. And this, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing because it's a very large and beautiful tablecloth. But I'll show you the best that I can up close so you can see the detail work on this. How gorgeous is this? Oops. Oh, come on now. Can you see that? I'm short. There we go. This is a beautiful piece of, look at this embroidery work. And it's got scalloped edges on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am going to have to, I think it help to hold it up so that I can measure it out because it's for a very, it's for a very large I would say rectangular table. So that might be a little bit more of it for you to see. Beautiful piece of linen. Don't know where I got this or how much I paid for it either. It's another one of those pieces that I've been holding on to for quite some time. And then <clears throat> these are things that I was going to try selling on eBay. Again, just never got around to it. But as long as I have them, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can sell them in the antique booth. And it's just a piece of fabric. It's not a very large piece, but it has a very pretty print on it, I think. Let's see if it happens to say who it is made by. It may be just, I see a little sticker on here. It may just be a yard. It is by Spectrum Fabrics exclusive print screen that we have right there but it's a really pretty print and for someone that sews I think they would be able to get oh two three maybe four pillow covers out of this so we'll see how that goes with the fabrics it may go over well and it may not but as they say you don't know until you try right and then the last piece I have to show you is another piece of fabric I really like this print. It almost looks like a watercolor print to me with the purples and has little yellow flowers in it. Beautiful. Let me see if there is a marker on this to see who made this fabric. Uh, oh goodness. I just found this tag on it. So this piece was originally $36.70. It doesn't, however, say how large it is. I'm going to guess that was made in either, I don't know the different scripts in Asian, uh, Asian uh, script. I don't know if that's Japanese or Chinese. Maybe the piece is even silk. I'm not sure. I can't say that it is, you know, when I put it into the antique space, but we'll measure that out and see how large a piece that is. That, I think, yep, that folks is everything. Um, <clears throat> I did forget to mention, and I hope you've stuck it out this long, to uh, please leave a comment in the comment section down below what your favorite piece was from this rehaul. My favorite piece, um, as much as I do love the tablecloth, I'm gonna go with the canisters. Because even if you don't use these canisters, what I have been thinking about and repurposing them is using them as flower containers. I think they look really cool. And they already have, you know, a built-in container there for your flowers. You can put a little, like, rocks or styrofoam uh, peanuts in there for drainage and even prop that up somehow so that will stay open. I think this would be really cool, repurposed, like I said, as flower containers. And the odd number of three, so it's kind of perfect. 
So that's my favorite find of this rehaul video. Um, go ahead and leave the comment and let everybody know what your favorite one was down below. And I have one other question for you. Am I the only one that is gaining weight through all of this? I find myself, it's terrible. I find myself eating out of just sheer boredom because there's only so much that I can do around the house. And, you know, you get in these funky moods and I find myself eating. So am I the only one that is gaining weight in all of this mess? That's my question for you for today. <laughs> That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy thrift hauls and crafting and DIYs and such, I would love it for you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos because I do have more coming up of my what I'm now calling my rehaul videos of things that I am taking from around my home and also things that I had purchased in the past uh, to sell on eBay and just never got to it that are going to go into my antique space once the mall reopens. So I have several more of those videos coming up for you, as well as one, I believe on May the 1st, that is sponsored by Nicole uh, North Garden, her Get It Done Challenge. And I have already started on my Get It Done project. So I don't want you to miss that either because fingers crossed it's going to come out really nice. So until my next video, everyone, as always, Please take very, very good care of yourselves. Violet and I say goodbye for now.